Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sandeep Gauti. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel English Guru for All. Dear friends, today we are going to discuss the most important poem entitled A Feel and the author of this poem is Christina Rossetti. Now see the picture of this poetess. It is given on the slide. Now in this slide you are aware of the title of the poem then the author of this particular poem as well as the picture is given there first you need to understand or you have to make some kind of guess so what does it mean means what is the meaning of this particular title of hill up means going up and hill is nothing but what a kind of mountain now let us discuss what is the idea of Christina Rossetti about this particular poem that is a feel. Now please observe the picture and guess something about it. Now what is given there? There is a picture, picture of a person is given there. You can see this one and that person is going up. So in what case you here you need to understand that you can understand what is given there exactly that person is facing some kind of obstacles while going up it means there may be some kind of problems when you are going to climb the hill but is it so is it the meaning that the poetess is going to discuss here definitely not so there may be some kind of underlying meaning the poetess is trying to convey to us let us discuss about this now at the initial stage we are going to know about this poetess and what is the name of the poetess Christina Rossetti so she was born on 5th of December 1830 and she died on 29th December 1894 now knowing about the author is very important here you can understand that what are the different aspects that influence this particular you can say author now you know the period that she was born in 1830 and she died in 1894 now she was English poetess who wrote a variety of romantic devotional as well as children's poems so her you can say specialization was what writing about the romantic aspects then devotional aspects as well as children's poem related to children now what is next she is famous for writing two particular works are given here one is goblin market and second one is remember now let us talk about what this poem already we discussed about the poetess now about the poem at the initial stage what is given there Christina Rossetti's poem a feel is written using questions and answers so this is the style which is used in this particular poem so somebody is asking the questions and somebody is answering the questions now even the most important aspect is what readers are not told who each of the voices are they remain unnamed it means the person who is asking the questions we do not know and the person who is answering the questions even we do not know and what is the next one the poem is metaphorical in nature this is very important dear friends you need to understand this part over here what does it mean metaphorical so here there is some kind of comparison as at initially or in initially what I told you that there is some kind of climbing up the hill but definitely that is not only the surface level meaning but there is some kind of what metaphor so underlying meaning is there now let us see what is next what is given there what is the next one very important part please read this one properly allegorical in nature what does it mean already I told you that that is there is some kind of underlying meaning so with the help of climbing up or you can say the hill in that case it doesn't mean that there is only the literal meaning but there is some kind of underlying meaning also 
Now again continue with about the poem. Wow, very important part is given there. Life is compared to a journey of feel. It means what? Walking a field is challenging and in the same manner life is also challenging. This is very important dear friends. Walking a field is challenging in the same manner life is challenging and here you need to understand what to do with this one. This is very important part. I am going to repeat this one. Walking a field is challenging in the same manner life is challenging challenging. Now what is given there? What is the central idea of this poem? The poem counsels goodness, duty and sacrifice in the midst of suffering and promises a heavenly reward in return. So this is the central idea. What is important here? Goodness, duty and sacrifice. But at the same time you are going to face what? So many sufferings and so many vows or promises can be there. Now let us start with the poem. What is the poem? This is the first stanza, second, third and fourth. Now I am going to recite this poem. Does the road wind up hill all the way? This is the question and what is the answer? Yes, to the very end. Will the day's journey take the whole long day from morn to night, my friend? But is there for the night a resting place? A roof for when the slow dark hours begin. May not the darkness hide it from my face. You cannot miss that in. Shall I meet other wayfarers at night? Those who have gone before? Then must I knock or call when just in sight? They will not keep you standing at the door. Shall I find comfort, travel sore and weak? Of labor you shall find some. Will there be beds for me and all who seek? Yeah, beds for all who come. Now here you can understand there are four stanzas and each stanza contains how many lines? Four lines. The first line is what? In each stanza. First line is the question. Second line is the answer. Again third line is the question and fourth line is the answer. Now let us discuss this poem, what is given there. Let us start about it. Stanza number one. Already I read this particular stanza. And what is the meaning here? Here the speaker is questioning whether life is a continual journey upwards or not. And what is the answer over here? The reference to the journey taking from morn to night. It refers to what? from beginning of life that is mourn to death and night stands for death here. So it is nothing but what? Again I am going to explain this. Does the road wind up hill all the way? And what is the answer here? Yes to the very end. What is the next question of the speaker? Will the day journey take the whole long day? And what is the answer? From morn to night, from birth to death. And that is what my friend, there is friendly conversation and life is nothing but a continual journey and you have to face so many obstacles and struggles but you have to go ahead. That is only the meaning that you can understand with the help of this particular stanza. Now let us go to the next stanza, stanza number two. But is there for the night a resting place? A roof for when the slow dark hours begin. May not the darkness hide it from my face. You cannot miss that in. Now two important things are mentioned here. One is what? Whether there is a resting place or not. And second one is what? What does it mean in? These two concepts you can say are very important here. Now let us talk about these two concepts. Here the speaker questions if there are many places along the road where one can rest. It means what? That particular speaker, the particular person who is traveling is a little bit, you can say what? Tired. And in that case, that person needs what? Some kind of rest. And what is the answer for that? A roof for when the slow dark hours begin. 
and what is that slow or uh, dark hours it may have some kind of negative meaning or maybe positive the answer is state that only one place exists and what is that when the slow dark hours begins the answer are assures that darkness will not mask the in everyone can find it means that particular place what this refers to is the end of life and the one place where all will go really we need to think about that limitations of life are there but here it doesn't mean that you should stop going up or going ahead so you have to proceed and be positive all the time so that in is nothing but what resting place what is that resting place it may be the graveyard it may be something else let us talk about stanza number 3 and what is the stanza shall i meet other wayfarers at night those who have gone before then must i knock or call when just in sight and they will not keep you standing at that door two questions two answers and what is the first one here the speaker questions if the inn will have a resting place whether that inn will have a resting place for me or not you please explain that one to me and what is the answer the answer or states that a roof will be available and that those who have come before the speaker the person who is asking the questions will allow the speaker to come into the inn unopposed it means you will be welcome there and you have to go there nobody will stop you so do not worry about it now stanza number 4 and what is the stanza this is the last stanza shall i find comfort travel sore and weak of labor you shall find the sum will there be beds for me and all who seek yeah beds for all who come dear friends the meaning of this word is very important here that is what travel so exhausted tired comfort will i get the comfort there some kind of relaxation and weak means what it may be physically weak it may be mentally weak of labor you shall find the sum and this is very important part here also that is entire work that is nothing but a sum will there be beds for me and all who seek yeah beds for all who come already i read this particular stanza but here you need to understand this is the concluding stanza again the speaker asks if there will be somewhere where rest can be found and what is that the answer replies that there is plenty of room for all who have successfully made the journey up feel appeal means what successful life actually success is the personal concept it may differ from person to person so here you need to understand that part also that successful journey now what is given there let us talk about the analysis of this particular poem the poem speaks to the fact that what is that fact the most important fact is given there and what is the fact that is the poem speaks to the fact that life is a constant struggle and challenge dear friends this is very important poem here the crux of life is given and what is that crux what is the central idea of the life life is a constant struggle and challenge and you have to struggle throughout your life and you have to overcome the challenges those who are able to succeed at passing the uphill journey will be rewarded by having a place where they will be able to rest this may be some kind of reward here you can make so many interpretations of this particular poem but here what i mean to say death is not the ultimate end but before that you can do so many things and you can create the history of your own life for some this in represents heaven where the angels will welcome the newly dead in oh my god this is really dangerous and you can say what some kind of opposite ideas are kept together where the angels will welcome but you are newly dead in oh my god how can the dead how can the dead can be you can say what 
welcome let us talk about again what is given there analysis others may attribute the in to the metaphorically represent the ground which opens to accept dead bodies pathetic that is what graveyard and all the time graveyard is what nobody likes that place because it shows the end of life where your name is not uttered but your entire you can say what body is called what is called that body and nobody is going to call your name there yes but we have to accept it this is the end of life if there is a birth definitely there will be a death essentially the poem speaks to the questions one has regarding life and the unknown this is important life as well as the unknown who is unknown here let us discuss in this particular slide the answer of the questions says the speaker's mind saying all will be well after the journey has been completed at the end of the journey everything will be fine so don't worry about it at its core means at the center the poem is about two voices one is struggling and seeking rest and another encouraging them and telling them they will find it so two aspects are there some positive some negative but all the time what is expected dear friends you should accept the positive ideas and forget about the negativity of life this is very important now let us talk let us talk about very important aspects what is that the poem is written in common style of poetry consists of four verses with four lines each already i told this one to you written from the perspective of two distinct narrators one who asks questions and one who provides answers now again some important aspects are given it is rhymed in an a b a b style where every a asks the question and every b is nothing but the answer these narrators are kept easily separate from one another by the simple rhyming pattern of the piece that is a b a b a is nothing but a question and b is nothing but the answer of the question dear friends thank you so much please watch this subscribe like and share definitely whatever i explain in this particular video it will be useful for you all to understand this particular poem of christina rossetti's and what is the title that is a feel thank you so much be positive and take this poem positively and learn literature with dr sandeep gauthe thank you so much